Hi, so this is a super quick demonstration of how to install and use all the features of the Rebutter browser extension. So I'm installing it into Firefox. At the moment, you can see we're also available in Chrome. With Firefox, though, you will need to restart to complete the installation, whereas with Chrome, you don't. The idea of Rebutter is to tell you that whenever you're viewing a web page that has been disputed elsewhere on the internet. So I've just installed it. Uh, as soon as you've installed it, it works. So as you start browsing the internet, whenever you land on a page which has been disputed elsewhere, the browser will tell you this pop-up and the plugin itself will have a number on it which you'll be able to click on and access this list of articles which argue against the content of the current page. So a good example is our own home page. So we just installed it, need to refresh the page and it will pop up saying that there are two rebuttals to our home page. Um, now in order to add your own rebuttals though you will need to log in so you can do that through the menu or through our own home page or even through this link down here. Whenever you're not logged in, it will tell you. So you can click that and I'm going to log in with Facebook. You can register with Twitter, Facebook or creating a new account. Once you're logged in, then you can start submitting. So I've prepared this one. This is a Snopes article saying that um, people are claiming that there's fake snow being landed, landing in the USA, but it's false. So we can say this is a rebuttal to this article which is claiming fake snow look there's evidence evidence of fake snow so this is the source page this is the page which is being rebutted i've got a second rebuttal here debunked fake snow so we can add that to the add another rebuttal so we've got one page making a claim and two different pages explaining why that claim is incorrect um i'm saying it's fake snow so i correct that and conspiracy are two pretty appropriate tags for this. Tags are very helpful for other people to find it. You can call that direct because it's directly addressing the point at hand. And now it's submitted and this page tells you that this page has been rebutted by these two. What we also do with this page is we search Twitter for anyone who is sharing this article. So here we found three people. This one's in English, so fake snow, map of all video reports in the USA. What we do with this is we can hit the reply button and we automatically generate this response saying Rebutter has two responses to this page see this list if you're interested and it tweets it from my personal account if I hit tweet it will send it to that person and let them know that there are responses um, the only other thing to show you at this point now that we've submitted it and taken some direct action is demonstrate that the rebuttal is in place so now this page now the refresh, it's got two rebuttals, it's the two we just added, and anyone that has the plugin will see that. However, if you don't have the plugin, what you can still do is go to the URL and type rebutter.com slash at the beginning of the URL and hit enter. And it will reload that page within the rebutter frame. So you can take that URL and copy it and send it to people in Twitter or Facebook or wherever and share this article without um, sharing the conspiracy, without sharing the, the misinformation if you perceive the content to be that way. So it shares the page in a skeptical sense and also without passing on any SEO or social benefit to the page in question. Uh, I think that's everything, so thanks for watching.